I wanted to talk about uh, color choice when I'm making a painting and I'm working on a little painting of a horse. It's a uh, 24 by 4, 36 painting of a horse and I just started to rough the painting in and it occurred to me, I started with a, a white, a blank slate. I had drawn the horse in and I began to add some color as a ground along the bottom of the painting. And the first color I, I, I chose to rough in some gray and some pink and some blue, but the, the decision of how to begin doing that or the process by which that started to happen um, occurred to me and I, and I began to think about um, what that is. You know, there, when people go to begin, especially if you haven't been painting for a long time, or you've never painted, the, the, the process of how to begin a blank canvas, this is the, you know, sort of old adage, a blank slate or, you know, a white canvas is very daunting. Um, and so I be, began to notice, and I do this with every piece that I make, um, you begin to look at it and, and suddenly you know that you be can begin with a color or a color field in part of the painting. And then through a process of sort of being still and watching it in your mind, a, a second color and then a third one uh, arrives in your mind. It's a um, it, it, there's an intuitive response to what you're doing, and so it you know not knowing, not having any program around it, um, I have developed a way in my painting whereby I know as I go through it, and it's very much like living life. You may not know what's going to happen on Thursday or Friday or next month. But because you're willing to kind of show up and be present today and do live your life today, then these other days and weeks and months arrive. It's the same thing with painting. Um, as you commit, as you commit yourself to knowing that you're going to do this painting, you're, go you're actually going to execute it, um, a kind of a trust level assumed and you, you do begin to see this thing moments before you actualize it you see what needs to be there and 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 even though I don't know what this painting will, will be like when it's done and I don't want to know because the surprise element and the creative you know, burst that happens every moment that I'm doing this is the reason that I do it. So I don't want to know what that painting is going to be like when I finish. There have been times where I painted, where I outlined a painting in its entirety and I knew what it was going to look like and then it's a matter of execution and I might spend 80 hours or 100 hours executing what I knew before. And I don't do that anymore because it's not nearly as fun. I, uh, the, the, the outcome is gorgeous. And I do this, I have done this thing where I would go in and layer with glazes, very light glazes, and uh, go through the areas of the painting and paint them three or four times so that this very rich tapestry, you know, would begin to pop out. And there are paintings that I've made, they're very luscious. but what I'm trying to do now is to create that same luscious oil, you know, greasy, eye-popping color, whether it's very vivid or not, whatever the palette, but I don't want to know what I'm doing because um, except that in the moments before I put this down, in the moment that I'm doing it, I intuit what, what needs to be there. And as, you know, if you ever decide that you want to paint, and I think this applies to a lot of areas of life, but, you know, it is a very intuitive process, and it's, you know, the intellectual 
uh, begins to fade away and the sort of uh, relying on something that's programmatic and, you know, um, something, you know, a process that can be learned begins to fade away and your own intuitive response to what you're doing and in, in, in other words the artist and what he or she is doing become one and so the activity and your person are the precise same thing and there is this and I, 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 I'll use the word dance there is this back and forth you know I, will, I, I prepare it here I go over here and I do it and and as I do it, I'm, I'm in this sort of um, non-intellectual, non-verbal communication with, with, a, with a canvas. So that's, and I'll talk about it more and, and with, with different canvases and examples, but I, you know, it's something that this is why we do it. This is this is this very enjoyable exchange is why I do this for my occupation of time and you know for my living. It's what I it's what I have come to enjoy immensely. And it is a it's kind of a surprise, but when it happens, there's no surprise. It's kind of like falling in love. You know, you you meet someone and you get this, you know, beautiful feeling. But in the end, when you look into their eyes, you think to yourself, it's not surprising at all. Of course, this, this person feels as close as my own heart. So anyway, we'll talk about it more. Uh, I just want, it's just about color choice. That's really what I'm talking about. The, the color choice and the architecture of the painting are naturally flowing naturally occurring, uh, you know, sort of uh, intuitions that come as a, you know, every, every few moments, every 10 minutes, every one minute arrives, just like the world unfolds before us every day. And it's always a surprise, and if you're in the present and you're, and you're, and you're participating in this, it's a, it's a, it's a flow, and it's a, and it's incredible. It's an incredible, luscious, delicious experience, like cooking food, like 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 a chef would do, you know, with these beautiful different colors and all these different things that you're pulling in together to make one composite. So we'll talk more.